Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So it has been a long time since I've done a macrame video, but we start in 2121. Wait. No. <laughs> Lol. 2021 outright. Okay, so to begin, I am going to be giving away some of these coasters that I'm going to be making. I'm going to be giving away this cute little pair right here. I think that one's got a little fluff on it. Um now, I'm not going to be making this color. I'm going to be doing a blue in this video because it, it goes in my house so might as well make one for me you know what I mean um but I am going to be giving these away so they will be shipped in this little box right here and so when you get them they don't quite fit right here um so you're gonna have to comb them out a little bit but that's okay that's okay um we're gonna figure it out as we go this is the box I used to ship my earrings um and I don't have anything else so they're just gonna come in that but all you have to do is like this video leave a comment down below um I don't know tell me tell me your favorite color and then um go follow my instagram my command co instagram um I, I would like it if you gave me a little favorite on my etsy shop but i know a lot of people you have to have an account on etsy in order to do that so if you do have that that would be very kind that would just be very kind but you just have to follow me on instagram like this video leave a comment down below and i will announce the winner in next week's video and um, I'll get in touch with you some way, somehow. If you don't see that video, you'll have three days after I announce it. Otherwise, I gotta pick somebody else because these little fellas need a nice little home to go to. So, now that the giveaway part is done, I know you wanna know how to make the handy dandy coasters. You can use any kind of rope that you want. I like to use 100% cotton for this. It's gonna make the fringe on the ends look a lot nicer. And uh, this is from Naroma Studio. This is who I order all my rope from. Um, so this is, I can't remember the color. I'll leave it right here. But this is the color blue that I'm gonna be using. And this one is from Amazon. Um, I like to use this rope as well. Um, but it is a three strand instead of a single strand. So I'm gonna have to do a little, little handy dandy trickaroo here to, uh, to jiggle that up so that's beside the point get you um you can use one solid color you don't have to use the double two-tone like i did right here um have this like little part coming out this all could be the natural color or this all could be the mustard uh, i just i'm going to show you how to do this one in this video just so you know how to do it um so that's why i'm using two different colors but you can most definitely just use one gonna need you some scissors a little bit of patience because it does take a little bit of time and that's about all so here we go okay so to begin first figure out you know what color is going to be your dominant color unless you're doing one then this doesn't apply to you but i'm going to be using um blue where this yellow is so my main color is going to be blue so for that rope i'm going to cut it one about as length like arm width length like this right here just like that set it to the side and now these other ones we're going to go ahead and cut four that are about half a body, half an arm span length. Um, if you're, I'm five nine, so if you're a little bit uh, shorter than me, maybe do a little bit longer. Um, and if you're a little bit taller than me, maybe do a little bit shorter. I don't know. It really is kind of just like a little iffy. Um, um, on both of these, I had excess rope left over that I cut. So, you know, I think it's better to have excess rope than to have too little rope. Um, so, you know, I say just cut it all off and, you know, maybe do double. I don't know. Do whatever you want to do. <laughs> um, so for starters though, we're gonna cut four of this color and then of the cream or the white, um, I'm gonna cut one. So our starting block is gonna be five ropes um, and then our main, main big old rope. So big daddy rope, five small ropes. Go ahead and cut them. Okay, moving along to the actual thing. What you're gonna do, there's many different ways to do this, but this is what I've tried and it works really well. So you're gonna take your end of your long big daddy rope and make a loop just like so just like so and kind of keep looping just like that right there all right bomb diggity drop it down leave it alone now we're going to take one of our half ropes and i'm going to fold it over we're going to do a lark's head knot if you don't know how to do that real quick take one end of your rope the other end of your rope put them together travel down and you got the loopity loop right here and we're going to fold over the center right here of these ropes fold over you're gonna have a loop in your other strands. Take the two ends and pull through. Okay, my camera randomly died, so I had to use a different camera. Um, so you're gonna pull it together and it will look just like that. And we're gonna repeat that four times with the blue color. I'm just gonna call it the blue color. You might be using a different color, but that is just what I'm gonna say. So do it once more. You got your loop, 
over. I hope you can see good with this camera. I can't see the viewfinder on this one, so crossing my fingers here. Boom, da doo. Okay, so you got the four here, and then I'm gonna go in with the white. Uh, I'm just gonna call it white. I believe it's cream, but you know, it is what it is. Natural, the natural color. And we are just going to do the same thing on it. It looks a little funny, I know, sorry. Okay, and once you have applied that, so if you only are using one color, just do five of your color. Um, and if not, if you're doing a multicolor, only use one and do four of your other color. Now we're gonna take this end right here that we just macrame over and pull. And it will make this little loop come together and it will start a little circle. Now you pretty much just do uh, double half hitches all the way around adding in lark's heads as you go, reverse lark's heads, and um, I will show you how it's done. Um, so what we're gonna do now is you are gonna flip the work. Uh, you could have just done reverse lark's head and you wouldn't have had to flip it. I'm just gonna go point that out there if you know what that means. Um, if you don't, don't worry about it. Flip your work and we're going on. Okay, so once you flip over your work, it will look something like this. Now, typically, we would go ahead and start with a double half hitch. However, this is our little short rope that we're not really using and kind of doesn't exist. And so what we're gonna do, there's a little bit too much of a gap between, uh oh, there's a little bit too much of a gap between here and here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of our little short daddies that we cut and we're gonna do a reverse lark's head on it. So pretty much the opposite of what we just did. You're gonna go under the rope instead of over and you're gonna pull the knots or the ropes through. And it will create this little something something that looks like that. And so it kind of blends in with the rest of the stuff, you know, you know how it is. All right, so now we're gonna work around. This rope is going this way, so we're gonna go around town with it too. All right, now we're gonna do a double half hitch. And if you don't know what that is, I've got a whole video on it, but I will go ahead and show you right here. You're gonna take this rope underneath the working rope up make a little loop de loop sorry i'm not very doing this very well up make a little loop de loop under cheerio it and pull it tight up pinch it right there pull through and pull tight and you can see it's starting to make this little oh i hope this is working okay i want you to note that as we go we are going to need extra rope. So um, earlier, you know, we took about half a body's length of our extra little five ropes that we cut. Go ahead and cut you some more. You can cut as you go as needed, or you can cut in bulk. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so since I've completed this next row, I'm gonna go ahead and take this extra one that we had and snip it. That way I'm not tempted to use it. We're just gonna cut that bad boy right there. He is gone, and you can tuck it in later if you want to, um, but for now, he's just gonna be looking like that because I'm not gonna deal with it anymore. I really wish I had my other camera because I really, if I'm honest, uh, don't like filming on this one for, this is more for weddings because I can't see the viewfinder and um, I only have a 50 millimeter lens for this camera and so it's just very complicated. <laughs> okay, so here's a little spot right here. You can see we need an extra rope. It's gonna come too far over. Um, you're pulling at this one, so we're gonna take an extra white one, go ahead and cut you another rope. Um, uh, so go ahead and cut you another rope, and we're reverse larks heading. So underneath, just like that. Underneath, pull the ends through, and you will pull it, it's a little, Difficult, okay, pull it to the top, boom. And so now you filled in that little gap and we can continue on. Double half hitch with the side before it. And now you do have to be careful. See, nothing is attached to it at top. So you have to pull that first one in to make sure that you're staying on track there. Boom, looking good, looking good. And kind of mush it around, get it to where you know that this is gonna be evenly coming out into a diamond or triangle, whatever this thing's called. All right, and just literally just keep going, filling in as needed, like I said, and I will come back when I get to another spot um, that I feel needs to be filled in. 
because I'm standing and doing this and it is a nightmare. <laughs> okay, you can see this is a better example of when you need an extra rope. So from here to there, there is not a rope directly above this one in order to macrame on. You're gonna have to pull this one all the way over. So that's not a, that's a no-no. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna cut another rope. And same thing, attach it with a reverse lark's head. And bomb diggity, good to go. Moving along to the next side. Now you can see when you pull it up to the top, there's one directly beside it, and that's what you want. Go ahead and do your double half hitch. Okay, and also, depending on the thickness of your rope, how tight you're pulling your rope, so many different things can depend on, um, you know, where you're gonna have to add an extra rope. You might not necessarily have to add as many as I do or in the same places that I do. Uh, so, just keep that in mind. Don't feel like, because I added one here, you have to add one here. That's not the case at all. My stomach is growling. I'm hungry, but I'm gonna finish this. And you can see right here, I might need one because otherwise this white is gonna keep coming out and I don't want it to keep coming out. So I'm gonna add another blue right here. I wanna keep that triangle of the white fairly narrow. I don't want it to keep getting wider and wider. So you see that will, it will line up a little bit better and it won't further spreading. I just don't want the whole thing to be, you know, white. <laughs> So you can see I've pretty much finished it. It is six rows. Now it is a little bit smaller than my other one. I mean, you can see it's not very large at all, but that's my baby, my child. Um, but since it's going in my house and this is just a demonstration, I'm just gonna leave it be because uh, she has woke up and I've got other things to do. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how to finish it off real quick. So remember we started the row like right around here. You can, you, you know, you can pretty much end it wherever you want to. So to do that, you're gonna take your traveling rope which is this bad boy right here. And you're gonna take the next rope in line, ready to do a double half hitch, and pretty much just tie a knot. Really, really tight. So tie it together like so. And then I'm gonna fold it on the back. That way it'll kinda go back here rather than the front. Tie just a nice little knot. Like so. Yeah. And then we're gonna trim all of our rope and to according, you know, however long you want your fringe. If you want them shorter, if you want them longer, I'm just gonna trim mine real quick and then show you what else to do. Then you're gonna take a comb. I'm gonna talk real quick because I know you don't want to hear a baby crying. You're just gonna take a comb and start combing through these. And I like to take hair, um, a fabric spray, which is what I use for my earrings. Or you can take hairspray if you don't have a fabric spray. Uh, stiff and quick is what I like to use, uh, but go ahead and just take any kind of like spraying agent and apply that to it. That way they'll kind of stay in place. Oh yeah, I need them scissors. Thank you. Um, that way they'll stay in place and won't be so uh, soft and flimsy. I'm gonna give it another little trim just by holding it and going around trying to stay even. them really short ones right there. I hate that I did that. So and I'm just going to spray this all around it. And this is also where you can go in, comb it back out and make sure. Shoe. You got a shoe. Oh yeah. I'll get it on your foot in just a second. Give me just a minute. Let me finish this. Okay. Oh no. We're not going to be rude. She's being rude. Okay. And so as it's drying, just go ahead and comb it out, and that way you can see any stray ones that might not have gotten cut to the right length. And after it's dried, you can go in and trim it up really, really nice. Okay, and then I've made a little bit of excess dust with all the little flaky, so I'm gonna have to go through there and individually pick all of those out. But you get the gist, that is our coaster. And it is super simple to make, same knot over and over again, pretty much, except for the lark's head. Um, and, and that's it. Just takes a little bit of time in total. I'll be honest. I've been doing this one for, and videoing for about two hours now. So, um, it does take a little bit of time, especially if you've got children running around and, uh, she's a little bit angry at me. So that one also needs to be trimmed some more. You can just see it as you're, you know, going through it, um, what needs to be done and what doesn't. And that is about all. 
So I forgot to do a uh, outro for this. So here's my outro. Um, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and God bless. Don't forget to enter the giveaway.